Um, so we're doing this again. I literally hate everything about this. Can you imagine if I got <laughs> Are we sure we don't have rep room right now? <laughs> oh! Welcome to my Eras tour in Los Angeles vlog. Holy shit, this vlog was actually never supposed to be a thing because I didn't think I was ever going to these shows. But what you're about to see in this video is me get tickets in extremely ridiculous ways. And you'd kind of know this already if you've been keeping up with my TikTok. The first night I went on behalf of a guy on my roster randomly coming out of the blue and surprising me with tickets. And I got to go to opening night with James and then I went again with Sarah and Jake. And what's special about that is I got those tickets from a guy on TikTok and I'm gonna go into so much detail on that because it's pretty hilarious. But if you don't know, Sarah's not really like a Swifty. Taylor Swift isn't really normally her vibe for music. And Jesus Christ, if you don't know about me and Jake, I mean, come on. This was me and Jake's first time seeing Taylor together since that day. Now, five years ago, I feel like I'm 400 years old. But yeah, me and Jake got to see Taylor again together. And I got to show Sarah how fabulous Taylor is. But before we get into the vlog, you know, doing things like this costs money. So videos like today's would not be possible without fantastic sponsors like today's sponsor, which is Bright Sellers, baby. I love Bright Sellers so much. Taylor Swift said champagne problems. I said, no, bright sellers problems. But having bright sellers is not a problem. It's actually the best gift that you could give yourself or one of your friends in life, I believe at least. Bright sellers is the wine club that believes anybody can enjoy the experience of wine. But in order to enjoy wine properly, you're really gonna figure out what wine is for you. And bright sellers makes that so easy because on their website, you're able to take a seven question quiz so that they can help match you to wines from all over the world, curated to your specific taste palette. You get to choose from over 12 different plan options and get over a hundred varietals sourced from over 80 wine regions delivered straight to your doorstep. Each box also comes with wine education cards that outline tasting notes, suggested pairing, best serving temps, origins, and more for each specific bottle that you have. Guys, Bright Sellers has over 600,000 five-star reviews because their wine is so good. And if for some reason you don't like one of the bottles that you got, they will replace it for you. And trust me, after I saw Taylor Swift multiple times in one week, my ass was in my room enjoying a glass of wine to like chill out. Right now I have six new bottles of wine from Bright Sellers. So I actually came home the other day to Jack stealing one of the wine bottles from my last Bright Sellers box. This was the one that he stole, but you know what? It's okay because I have a new bottle now. And I'm so excited to drink a glass of it in my bed later tonight and try to not spill it on my white comforter even though that's totally what I'm going to do. And once again, sponsors like Bright Sellers really help make it possible to be able to give you the content like I'm about to in this video. So if you sign up for Bright Sellers today, you're not only supporting them, but you're also supporting me and my channel and the future content that I'm gonna be able to give you guys. And today, Bright Sellers is gonna give my followers their first six bottle subscription box, which is usually over $150 for only 60. Click the link in my description right now to take the quiz and get started today and get an epic box of wine delivered to your doorstep in no time. Now with that being said, let's get started with this vlog and I'm gonna take you to the night before opening night where this guy had seen me publicly begging for Taylor Swift tickets and had been texting me days leading up to that being like, you know, I might be able to get you some tickets, but I was like, there's just no way this guy is going to be able to do this. And then all of a sudden I checked the messages on my phone and this is what happened. Oh my God. So I was totally not planning on vlogging today at all just because it's fucking ridiculous the way that I'm going to opening night all because of a man. Turns out we actually need men sometimes, you guys. What the fuck do you even mean I'm going to be in the front row of the VIP section? It's just so funny because half my DMs right now are people thinking that these tickets are fake and they're somehow just not. I don't know how I got this lucky considering I was bitching online for the past few weeks, months about how we don't have any tickets for the LA shows. I truly thought I was out of luck and then I ended up with a bajillion Jillian tickets. I ended up with like 10 or 12 $70 tickets yesterday, all because of a guy named Zach from San Diego who commented on one of my TikToks. I even got to do a giveaway. I've been crying for the past 12 hours over the fact that I got to do a giveaway for you guys on my goddamn TikTok. And then right after I did my giveaway is when this guy randomly hit me up and was like, I just got you fucking tickets for tonight. What do you even mean? All because of a man. That's so sick and twisted. Bye, man. Thank you to my man. I might have to marry this man. Man. You might be getting a wedding vlog from me sooner than you think. You might be getting a gender reveal vlog from me sooner than you think because what is this? I have to go to Sephora right now and get eyelashes. Oh my God. Oh. 
I'm taking this before I forget to because is that Advil? Yeah, do you want some? Why would I want some? I always have a headache when I'm driving after concerts, so taking three. I feel like you take it after when you actually have the headache. No, does that actually prevent it? I'll take it then too. Sure. Ask me if I gaff. Don't gaff. If you guys can't tell, we're in a parked car. Meaning. Don't know why she had so much to say. <laughs> I like don't have any words yet. I just went nonverbal for like five minutes. Like I. Have... She literally went nonverbal. Like she was like. <laughs> I like actually could not figure out what to say. I'm so insanely overwhelmed. I can't believe me and James are here right now. James has never been to SoFi. Never. And he also has not seen Taylor since 1989. Never. Save well, it. since 1989. I think I wore black joggers and an Urban Outfitters t-shirt and white Converse and thought I was actually eating. I just like can't believe how long ago 1989 was. I was 15 when I saw that. I'm 23 now. That's eight years I'm ago. turning 24 soon. That's so fucked. Loving that REM Beauty lip oil. By the way, you guys. I know in the midst of her literally getting canceled all across the internet i would like to say that and i know we all shit on her for this because like we all want music no one, no one wants this no but, but like um, the lip gloss in the shade i thought it was scrunchy but apparently it's detention shade scrunchy there's a shade called scrunchy you know seriously. i never really like thought about it that way That's until so right awful. now i love how we turn on the camera at the worst time no seriously like we <laughs> we're, we're like, okay, i'm finally gonna vlog and then it's like <laughs> No one talk. <laughs> so unfortunately, you have to tell everyone about the fact that you just came from Lululemon. Guys, I have really bad news. I'm still working at Lululemon. <laughs> <laughs> Things were supposed to happen that just didn't happen, okay? Like, it happens. I'm mm -hmm. in my early 20s. Jobs are crazy right now. Mm -hmm. we, we get it. I just had my final interview yesterday for a real big girl job. Who knows if I fucking got it? I don't think I did. <laughs> yeah, who knows? They probably hated me, which whatever. But... Oh my God, stop. Guys, let me know if it's possible to hate James. Because oh. I don't think it is. <laughs> I wouldn't start that comment section because there are always <laughs> the people. No, it's so funny because one of the girls I gave Era's tickets to on TikTok yesterday, I told her I'd meet up with her next week before she leaves LA. And she was like, I also want to meet James. <laughs> Uh, at least someone wants to meet me. I got a zit on my lip as I was doing yeah, my lipstick. Yeah, I'm like zitting. What is happening right now? I don't know. I want a beer. Giant souvenir beer. Oh, in like a giant Eras cup that costs eight hundred dollars. Anyways, sorry. I can't wait to add music. <laughs> I can't wait for it to be Club Penguin Pizza Parlor behind all of How'd this. How'd you know? So guys, what's your favorite Taylor Swift song? <laughs> guys, we miss Gracie Abrams at this point. It's confirmed because it's now seven. And I am a huge Gracie Abrams fan, like huge. And we missed her and I like have not said a word about it. And I just love her the most. So Gracie Abrams, since I know you're watching. <laughs> Stop! I think I've been putting on more bronzer ever since I started rewatching Jersey Shore. I can see that being a natural, like, just like instinct. a behavioral response. Yes. Yeah. Right. To everyone who thinks our tickets are fake. I was about to say something right? about that. Like, no. We'll find out soon. Can't say where we got them, but they're definitely a reliable source. Yeah. <laughs> This guy would never fuck me over, so thank you, Liam Payne, for the tickets. Thank you so much, Liam Payne, for the tickets. POV, you find out you have the job in the middle of All Too Well. I found out I don't have the job in the middle of All Too Well. Why am I, like, nervous to go inside? I know. I think I'm ready. Are we going in? We're gonna go into the Eras tour now. Taylor Swift, I love you. My other shoe is behind the camera. Okay. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Here we go. I, I am so nervous. This is so strange. So if I see it, it makes me feel things. I don't know if they're good or not. What? This is what so is fun. going on? This is so sick and twisted. Look. <laughs> what is going on in there? This arena is fucking whack. What is so fun? Is that tech company? I think so, yeah. That's so confused. Why are we here? These are the craziest seats I think I've ever been in in my whole entire fucking life. Oh my fucking... <laughs> I cannot believe they're here right now. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, it's Taylor! I'm so nervous. Holy fuck! Oh my god! I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. Yeah!
like, where are you? I found you. This is the girl that went to the Everest store the other day. So, so much fun. Love her. Caitlin, you're literally the best. We just got coffee. So much fun. I know. We've been here for like hours just talking. It's been so fun. Yeah. I'm literally obsessed with her. The James approval. The James approval. I love you so much. We freaking love her. Um, so we're doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a little thing I like to call uh, part two. Oh, we're getting we, chosen for rep room again tonight, but we didn't want to tell you guys. We are. <laughs> she actually already did this. Both Kayla and I are getting the hat, so yeah. don't even... <laughs> Don't She's wearing cry. two hats yeah. tonight. She's gonna take the first one off and there's gonna be another one. She might even have a third one for Sarah. Stop the show. She's like, where's Sarah Baska? <laughs> this is gonna be very exciting. Really? I'm very excited. I've actually been waiting for this moment for the whole year because LA has been the last stop. Caitlin was like, come with me to Glendale. And then I said, goodbye. <laughs> and then... <laughs> uh, fuck Glendale, am I right? This was like meant to happen in now Los happening. Angeles. Now it's happening. What the fuck? Okay, hey, you actually can't ruin this dress for me. <laughs> You, this actually means anything right now. He was just literally grabbing it. This is a rental. By the way, we have no idea what Sarah's wearing. This is the biggest surprise of the day. <laughs> bigger than what? The surprise dog. Bigger than the surprise dog. So what is Sarah Baska wearing today? Because yesterday she was joking that she would wear a snake costume. I hope no, to God. No, I cannot I hope wait to, to film this fucking video. <laughs> it's like me, Chris Jenner, you, like Ariana Grande, and then you. <laughs> Where did Chris Jenner and Ariana Grande come into play? <laughs> Apparently we are going to people today apparently, that I'm not about. Apparently I'm Chris Jenner, apparently she's Ariana Grande, and Can apparently- Can I stop? Why do I keep- Apparently she can't walk, and apparently Sarah is going to be a snake. I'm so fucking overwhelmed. Unfortunately I have to sneak him in. He needs to be nowhere Imagine, near the air. Imagine- <laughs> He comes out of the stage, ready, boom. I was born to die, <laughs> Sarah! Where are you? She's always late. All right, I'm going to find Sarah right now. Oh, I think this might be her, maybe not. Where is this bitch? Your old apartment building. Where? I sent her to your old apartment. In Hollywood? Yeah. Oh my God. Fuck me. Okay, Fuck, I had your old address saved in your contacts and I just like copied and pasted it and sent it. <laughs> Is she like outside right now? Um, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like waiting for her to walk in. I was like, where the fuck is she? Oh my God, she just said the same Uber that dropped her off just picked her back up. <laughs> fuck. He already played Taylor Swift for her too. Like, fuck. Oh my God. There's no way. Oh, that was so my bad. I did not believe she just was like standing outside. I'm drunk in the back of the car. Me. <laughs> it's just white cloth. <laughs> Ah. I can't do this. We need Sarah to show off her shirt. Oh my god, I found this in the back of my closet. Hey. I swear I have like a secret stuff. Thank you for your time. <laughs> You're gonna be accepted tonight, I swear. Like, I am not ready for this moment. I keep staring at the stadium, like knowing that she's in there. And every time I think about it, I just get like indigestion and I feel like I'm gonna shit indigestion. myself. Indigestion? Like, I feel like I'm gonna shit myself. Like, you just ate a bag of Brussels sprouts. Bubbly guts. I don't really shit when I eat Brussels sprouts. Is that like a thing? I don't really pay attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that like a thing? Yeah, if you like eat too many Brussels sprouts, it's like a laxative or like it makes you shit and fart like crazy. Great info because, because I'm so <laughs> constipated. I have hemorrhoids, so. Oh. It's Are you taking preparation too. H? <laughs> I have a giant tube on my nightstand, baby. What That's what that? gays use when they've bought them too much and they have to like really hydrate clean. their asshole so the hemorrhoids go away. Oh. She's had too many right? Brussels yeah. sprouts. So anyhow, we're seeing Taylor Swift. And we pulled it to the scene. And I was a little like scared about, I wasn't scared about my outfit, but this is so <laughs> out of my comfort zone. I'm like, I never would wear something like this. But we pulled up every bitch is in sequence. Every yeah, bitch. like this is the place to freaking wear that stuff. No, I'm Christelle drunk. came into my room because she knows I'm going to Taylor and she walks and she's like, <gasps> oh, that is so Taylor. Yes. No, like, cool. <laughs> I can't wait to become a stan. You're going to be the biggest Swifty ever after this. You can't really go to these shows and walk out like not. But does she play red? Yes. yes. She does plays she play style? That's what yes. she gives the hat. Yep. She picks like a little girl yeah. out like in the front and gives her like So it's going to be hat. Caitlin and I. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if I got <laughs> <laughs> How this is you Sarah, like, like, Andrea finds Sarah in the 200th level and is like, come with me. Yeah. You two can't come. <laughs> oh, you guys would literally kill yourself. I literally would slide tackle her. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you wanted this? Oh, you wanted this? I have no idea what the lyrics are. <laughs> Oh, it's like, did I just hear? I know. Start? I was like, what was that? That's her mom. Oh, looking it's behind for me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, I need a hot dog. I'm back. I meant I'm drunk. 
<laughs> wow, perhaps we like go in or something. Why am I nervous? It's, it's like a lot. This is like, this is literally like pop culture. Yeah. You this know? Is Pop. Because at first I was like, oh, this is gonna be fun. But then Christelle was like, no, Sarah, this is like a very, very big historical. Deal. Like the fact that you're going to the Eros tour is really Crazy. cool. Yeah, I don't know how I got enough tickets. I don't know how I got tickets in general. I don't know how I got, I how I got, got enough tickets. Four for tickets. I, bro, that <laughs> random guy from San Diego. Once again, thank you, San Diego Zach. San Diego! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, Man, you, listen, uh, I know it's like Barbie summer, fuck men summer, yeah, but not for men. me. No, cool. not no, we use that for our benefit. <laughs> we manipulate. We manipulate men and we get into that fucking stadium. Except not San Diego's that. We love you. Is San Diego we love this you. random guy on TikTok that was like, I have like 12 tickets I'm selling. I, I bought cannot. them all. Do you know him? No. It's <laughs> <degrees out. laughs> you don't even know San Diego Zach. No. Zach, we love you. We Zach. love, we love Zach. Zach. I'm going to get a shake it off margarita. Do they have something. those here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did she get money from concessions? Like things like, that are named to shake it off. I mean, probably. I mean, it has to be like a copyright thing. Yeah. Right? Let's contact her business manager. If somebody could let us know if Taylor Swift is making money off the shake it off margarita. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's making her a billionaire. <laughs> That's Taylor's why mom is definitely watching this. She's looking for me. Andrea Sarah is right here. Drunk in the back of the car. Not I'm drunk, drunk in the back. Good thing I'm already hammered. <laughs> <laughs> That's with our Trader Joe's sparkling water. <laughs> so I, fucked I, up right so now. Good. Do we like this or should I try a different stuff? Can you just try the bug ones on? I want to see what you oh, look like. God. Wait, why do you eat in them? Why is she, why is she kind of Wait, eat? are they better than the other ones? They kind of, they're kind of sick. sick. Wait, I thought you were going to look stupid. No, Me bad. too. <laughs> I thought you were going to look like an idiot. You eat in those. Hang on. <laughs> I'm drunk in the back of in that. You're not ready. You're not ready, Jiki. Wow. Wait, sick. Guys, look at this. Okay. Eat okay. it. <laughs> She's drunk in the back, back of the, the car. car. <laughs> um, okay, I guess we're gonna go inside now. I'm drunk in the back of the car. Oh my god. I'm eating a hot dog. Hey. <laughs> this is my Eros Tour hot dog. I am just got off stage and I'm enjoying this hot dog. Taylor's on soon and I'm not fucking ready. Are we out of the woods? Yeah. <laughs> Are we out of the woods? Are we in the clear? She just got out of the woods. <laughs> oh yeah, you were in the woods. <laughs> I'm drunk. I'm drunk. The I'm drunk. They're about to start doing the countdown Ooh. too. Oh. Um, as soon as that clock turns on the screen. You're fucked. This is some way, so we can take it from the top. He's got a body like a lab where he's taking like a clock. Ron Concert Band. Relax. Oh my god. <laughs>
you sure we don't have rep room so, right now? <laughs> <laughs> I think Andrea is coming to get us. <laughs> that was the best concert I've ever seen in my life. Yep. Sadly, this video has come to an end. Oh my God, you guys, I had such a great time at all those shows. I actually ended up going a third time. I went again with James to the second of last night, but I didn't really vlog much from it. And the only crazy thing that really happened that night was I got my period in the middle of Taylor singing Fearless, which was so inspiring and so correct. Like I did feel quite fearless standing there in my dress, realizing that a flood is amongst us. And I'm excited to announce that Sarah is a Swifty now. She absolutely loved the show. Me and Jake, as you could see, also had the best fucking time together, as did me and James. It got to the point where I was under the impression that Taylor Swift just had like a residency in LA for the rest of time. And then when that last show rolled around, it really hit me like a bus that no, she actually is not going to be performing here almost every single night, every week. But it was a very special week and I ended up being able to send four different people to the Eras tour, which was even more special. And I hope I get to do more ticket giveaways like that soon. So ah! I love you guys and Taylor so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to go sign up for Bright Sellers. The support for me and my channel would mean the whole entire world and I have to move again in three weeks so here we go it's the most wonderful time of the year am I right I think I'm wrong I love you guys all so much and I will talk to you in my next video Mwah.